Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss about the how the custom fonts and icons are added using the virtual file system. In PDF make document it's shown how it will be and I'm going to demonstrate it to you. First, we are going to make a clone of the PDF make library repository. Okay, it's completed. Next, we need to install the packages required for this library. Okay, it's completed. Okay, in the examples directory and in fonts, we can see the fonts and images default. Actually, we don't need these files since we are using our custom fonts and icons. And I'm going to copy the required font for me in this directory. And here it goes. I have chosen these fonts. Next, the icon spot. Actually, I'm going to use the icon moon for this. Creating a new project in this. and importing an icon from my local and that is SVG. So I choose an icon. Next part is the most important one. That is, I'm going to reinitialize the character value of the icon to somewhat related to that icon. If not, you can give any of the characters for that. Here you can see I have given a custom representation of the character and I'm downloading the phone files by clicking on the download button. Yes, it's downloaded and need to extract file. From fonts, we get the TTF files of the icon font. I'm copying it and pasting into the PDF make fonts directory in examples directory. Next thing is going to open this library files in VS Code. Here in package.json, we can see certain commands written in the scripts. Actually, we are using the VFS, so the command is built uh, VFS.
on executing that the new builded fonts are generated we could see that in the build folder named vfsfonts.js file here we can see the fonts we are going to use So I'm copying this file and pasting in our project assets folder. Next, we are going open up our project in VS Code. We need to change certain things in that VFS font.js. We are setting that to the PDF make.vfs. and this needs to be imported in our ts file and assigned to the pdf make vfs We are going to use the font configuration in another file in the config directory. So create a file named pdffonts.ts and let's export the declared fonts objects. Since I have used three types of fonts, I am declaring three font settings. I am setting the Alio font since Alio has only one type and it's already a bold one. So I am setting that to the bold. Next, assistant font. There, there are two variants of that. So Creating S2 that is normal and bold. For Icomoon, likewise as a normal one. And these fonts are declared to the PDF make fonts. Now the fonts are integrated to our PDF make. Let's check that. I'm giving text and style. And style. Just like the font I'm going to define in another TS file. Since there will be a lot of that styles. 
So I'm defining the style head with certain properties font bold to true so it will take the bold one that is declared in the font file color and finally the font size okay all set let's look that in browser Oh, sorry, I haven't saved the project. Okay, there's a error. Let's check that. Ah, oh, okay, got it. Uh, it's a spelling mistake. Now let's see again. Okay, there's an error. Let's check that. Oh, okay, it's because of the default styles. If don't give any default styles and font initially, it will take the default font prevailing in that library. Uh, that's the Roboto. So we are giving the default style and fonts font as assistant with bold files and these styles are imported and given in the document definition in bottom let's see yeah it's working fine next i'm going to add the icon same text file with the character encoding of that icon and style font as icon moon. now let's have a look in the browser Yeah, the icon is rendered correctly. I'm going to increase the font size of it. Yes, it's fine now. That's for now, the normal text with custom font and custom icon. That's it. See you next video.